Hey, this is Mako, and we're gonna go into Loki. Probably the most abused Warframe for trolling of all time. Now, Loki is pretty easy to set up, and I've stuck him with an Akandi. Secure a Penta, an Akandi. Now, why the Nikandi? Because it hits so fast, it's ridiculous. And you know, mine is actually a crit based build. And it's worked really well into, you know, skirmish and end game based play. True Steel has probably been the best bet, but you can even just go with something like this if you want, and I'll even prove this works. But I tend to use the True Steel more often, because it's just a slight damage buff overall. The Furious is my standard Furious. The Penta is kind of interesting to build. You can actually make this replace one of these with Hush. I think I was Hammer Shot or replaced with Hush, and I had 100% Stealth Grenade Launcher, yes. Now, the build I have going on this is pretty fun. It's basic. It, it works. But you know, as everybody loves to scream on the forums, Loki is the AKA Master Race. I just called him a bunch of Warframe Nazis. Loki is a stealth based Warframe, you can go invisible for an extended period of time. You can disarm enemies, and with the Nakandi, beat them into an ever loving death. Yes, the Nakandi is actually pretty vicious against these 70s. Hmm. You can even summon a decoy, let them beat on the decoy while you beat on them. It's a trollish Warframe. It is the Trickster, and its powers reflect that. Too bad a lot of players would rather, you know, use them on each other than the actual enemy. But here's the thing, Loki is squishy. And as a squishy Warframe, you have to have some tactics. Now, I am personally despise Loki users because they will do, you know, an annoying thing. And that was me blowing myself up with the Penta. Why? Because the Penta's blast is so bloody big. If you're not, you know, watching where that thing lands and you hit that little trigger, kaboom. Basically, first stage is always throw up your decoy, disarm enemies. On the flush base enemies like this, it will knock them down and cause radiation proc because of your radiating disarm. Uh, I thought that was somebody still alive. I'm gonna just back away this time. This is a crit build. Secure a Penta, and I'm sorry, a lot of people tell me things that I do at crit build shouldn't work. It's to work pretty fine for me. <laughs> you can even multi blast. Um, the most you can have out with the secure Penta is three, and you're stealthy, so who cares? I've got these enemies, fe you know, killing each other. You can even trade places and beat them up really quickly. And that's the thing that a lot of players will abuse, and that's why I tend to despise Loki players, because, you know, I'll be killing somebody, they'll blip me out, and then they'll do lol, how you like that, or something. It's like, seriously, guys, get some maturity. It's a mature game, play it that way. Now, there are tricks you can do, like you can summon your clone or decoy, and then switch places with your decoy, which makes fast traveling pretty good if you can get some good range on this. Remember, first stage, go invisible, and if I can actually hit the bloody thing, switch with it. Instant transportation, resummon it, and now the heavy units we all despise have no weapon. Well, besides some sort of staff thing with a light on it. Just remember to keep going invisible. And your radiating disarm makes them want to beat each other to a pulp. Since you're not visible, they won't attack you. Or, you're not visible, they won't attack you. So, as you can see, very trollish, very overpowered. Probably one of the most powerful and well-known frames out there for being annoying. I like how they could hit me while I'm invisible, even though they didn't see me, they're attacking the decoy. I don't play Loki very much, I just stick it in, you know, the arsenal and never use it again. That's my take on it. And again, go invisible, let them beating on each other, eat some popcorn, whatever, blast them to pieces. I like the secure penta with this because it gives me shields, and it buffs my shields a little more, and that helps with this build. So, thank you for watching, and you know, have fun with Loki, you trollish tricksters you.